Morning guys, staying here from Rocky Creek. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. If you're new to our channel, me, my wife, and my children, we have a small three acre homestead where we're trying to raise as much of our own food as we can because I saw it significantly improved by a skin condition called psoriasis. But the big topic of today is we're gonna talk about fencing. And I'm gonna show you kind of why you should have it in place prior to so you can do it the right way and why you don't wanna rush it because it's not gonna be as good. And I'm gonna show you kind of what happened to us and what we're gonna start doing to try to fix it. So if you look here at our chicken pen, I ran sheep and goat wire on the entire pen. Now I used to run my chickens in a Premier One electric netting, which those of y'all been following us know we repurposed that around our garden. But when we did this, you know, we did everything right. We got the wire pulled good and tight on the fencing. We ran our H brace right here. And when I pulled the fencing, everything went fantastic. Here's where I messed up. And I talked in previous videos about you know, plan and have infrastructure in place before you get your animals. But sometimes life doesn't go that way. When we come over here to Olivia and Henry's pen, I completely, th this is not at all how you want it done. When you get a good breeder of animals that you trust, and that's the only one you want to buy that particular animal from, and they call you with a really good deal, that's the only time I've done something like this and I wasn't prepared. She had an awesome deal on both of them, plus our man made her. We've gotten other pigs from her before. She's fantastic. Well, I tried to throw together a pen for them as soon as possible, and I really didn't have enough time to plant it like I normally do. And you can see where I messed up, and let me show you. I still ran their posts just like I normally did. I used an auger, and these posts are about three foot in the ground. The problem with my soil right here was it's extremely rocky, but when you get through the rock, the ground itself is very soft. Well, I did not H brace my corners prior to pulling my fence. This was a huge mistake because what ultimately ended up happening was is even though I used concrete in those posts where that dirt was so soft and without proper H bracing, when I pulled tension on my, my fencing, it caused all kinds of problems with posts bowing out or leaning out the ground because the ground was so soft to some posts got going a little crazy that once I relieved the slack from my fencing then I ended up with all kinds of sag and, and, and I mean it's just it's not good I'm not gonna go and ripping all this up though but we're gonna try to make it the best we can with what we got the great thing is is that thank God Cooney Coonies do not challenge fencing because any other pigs this fence ain't gonna hold them in Luckily, these Cooney Coonies aren't an issue. So we're gonna work on my first goal in trying to fix this fence is gonna be running my H brace in some of the corners. Now I'm gonna show y'all something and <laughs> don't, don't judge me because I just had to make do with what I got. Look at this rigging right here. I'm not kidding, this has been here for about two months. That's how busy I've been, I haven't been able to get to it. But when I pulled tension on this corner in particular, it really pulled this corner in in a bad way. And so I ended up having to run this come along with some straps to keep it pulled back because I was worried that honestly it was going to fold in on me. I'm hoping that when I get my H brace here and here, I can pull this to where I want it, get that brace in there, and that'll hopefully stabilize it to where I can get this off of here. So two issues I'm going to be dealing with with these ones too. Not only do I already have a fence here that's not really the way it ought to be. Number two is I got some crazy angles going from this post to that post and the same thing at my other end. So my buddy Scotty's coming over and we're going to be brainstorming and trying to think of the best way to fix or to attach these H braces to where we can get some support with the wild angles that we have. And we're gonna go ahead and grab some supplies and we're gonna get ready to see if this will work. Let's go. So because I'm not really sure if even the crazy angles that I have is gonna allow me to run the H bracing because I didn't pre-think about that when I connected it to my existing fence. My mother had these uh, redwood landscape timbers. They're a lot better 
quality and long lasting compared to normal um, treated landscape timbers and she had no use for them so i'm actually going to give these a try on the back side of the fencing just so if it doesn't work out i'm not wasting money and then if these go well then i'll get my normal treated round timbers like i used on my previous fence for the front portion of the pig fencing just so at least it'll look more uniform where nobody will see it on the back side so these are the timbers we're going to use we'll get these pulled around back and i'm going to grab the rest of the equipment that i need all right guys so to to be able to do this you need a couple tools number one you're going to need some kind of a saw that you're going to use to cut your timbers to length that you need them um and also to do your angle cuts on it you're also going to need some plated brace pins you're going to most likely need two different sizes you're going to need a longer size uh, five packs 10 inches in length and then also um, a five inch set as well to do the hole for your brace pins you're going to need a cordless drill along with a very long 3 8 inch uh, drill bit <clears throat> um, but you're going to need a really long one because you got to get all the way through that 4x4 four four post and then a little bit more so and then lastly to be able to create our angle now I've never done these angle cuts but I did some research and I came across some videos that talked about it is you will need a speed square let's go ahead and We'll get my buddy over here and we'll get started up on this but just some simple tools that most people have on hand the brace pins you can just get at any local feed store um, i just got these ones at tractor supply um, and they're not very expensive maybe about five or six dollars a pack all right so my buddy scotty got over here and we actually got the first one up as you can see and it actually went better than we thought i couldn't let y'all see the first one because we had to make sure we didn't go completely terrible and we give you bad advice but it actually went fairly well for the situation we're dealing with so we're going to show you now on this next corner how we're getting our angles and how it's kind of working out and how you use these pins to give support to that H-brace. So let's check that out right now. All right, so all we're doing to get our angle is we're holding our board up against one of the posts. And then all we're doing is taking a straight edge and laying up against it right there. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put our line on the board. And that should give us our angle. And then once we make that cut, We'll drop it up against the board here, lay it on the other side, do the same mark again, and we'll, that'll give us our other angle, and we'll show you how it goes together in just a second. Alright, so with any of your H braces, you're going to run one long pin and one short pin. Usually you want to use your short pin on any of your corner posts um, to where that way you're not having to drill from the outside of it. And you will put this side into your H post first and then you'll finish it with your long one. So right now we're just going to get us a hole drilled approximately about halfway. And then on the other one we'll just drill it straight through and it'll be a lot easier. Now that I got this post halfway in, I'll drill a hole in the end of our timber and then we'll slide it right into there. We'll tap the other end down and then we'll drill all the way through and run our last pin on that. All right, so you can see, Slid that pin on right there. We got it good and flush. It's got a little overhang, but that's because these timbers aren't exactly the same diameter as these 4x4s. Got it running right along across the top of the fence line. And then we have it right here. And like I said, we just got our angles by setting the board up against the 4x4, running a straight edge across this way, doing our line, quick and simple way to get your angle. Now all I need to do is I'm gonna run the drill from this side into the end here. Then I'll use my 10 inch pin and I'm gonna hammer my 10 inch pin from here all the way into this and that'll give us the support that we need. And that's as simple as it is to do an H post on livestock fencing.
There it is, that pin's running about almost to there. And that'll give us all the support that we need for that H brace. Now we're just gonna use the same method for here. And then once we do that, we're hoping we can pop this strap off and it'll hold up in the position that we need it to do. We're starting the early phases of working on your new setup, brother. What do you think? You gonna like it? Hopefully we get y'all a new house here real soon too, Miss Olivia. Henry, she might let you stay in it too, brother. Don't worry. All right, what y'all think of the new fence? Olivia, you approve of the new fence? Huh? You just tired, girl. You party last night? Stay up watching them football games. Oh, little girl. Oh. He's snoring. All right, so as y'all can see, though, got this H brace. Got this fence much, much tighter now. You can see there's not much of any sag in it as compared to what it used to be. And then this was the corner I was most worried about, but it is so much more sturdy now than what it was prior to. So this H bracing definitely makes a huge difference on your livestock fence. Now we did have to cut it short because I had one more post I was gonna try to run before I ran out, before I had to go to the store and get some more. Uh, because like I said, we got these for free, so we're gonna put them to use. But we actually cut one of them a little bit too short and it's not gonna be usable now for any of our other sections. So that's just gonna call it quits for today. Um, I'm gonna get out to the supply store here before here in the next few days. We're gonna get the rest of our H bracing needed. I think I need about five or six more. And that should take care of it because we'll also H brace where the gate's going to go. And we'll also pick up a farm gate as well for the pigs. And then after we get those things done, we can start planning for the actual pig shelter and get that done. So I hope today was helpful to you all. I hope I tried to film it as best I could with limited time to get it done today. So if you have any specific questions, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll try to help you out. If not, there's a lot of great videos on doing H bracing and fencing not saying this way that i do it is perfect it's just what's worked for me and the type of animals i have i have thankfully don't really challenge it a whole lot so if i'm not doing it exactly the way a professional farmer does it hey it works for us it gets it done and we'll just do the best we can with it so if y'all have any tips and tricks though as well though please let me know that but i hope this was able to be helpful to you all we appreciate y'all hanging out with us hope everybody's having a fantastic week and until then, guys, y'all be good, and we'll see you here real soon on our next video. See y'all.